What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing my engine intakes that I just picked up on my 2018 Kia Stinger. Let's go through the box and see what we've got. Alright, so as you can see we got some wrapping paper. Hardware instructions. Filters. And appears we have some damage on the filter. Mm. All right. And we got the first ram horn. That looks good. And the other side. Okay, and I think that's the full contents of the box. So we'll set the box aside. All right guys, so here's the tools you're gonna need. Some pliers, small screwdriver, flathead, larger screwdriver, flathead, ratchet, a couple of extensions, a 12 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and an eight millimeter. And that should completely do the job. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by disconnecting the battery, uh, which is actually located in the trunk. And let's go do that now. All right, the next step is to remove these four bolts. And these bolts are 12 millimeter. And they are on there quite tight. And then once you have the bolts out of there, these strut tower braces just kind of lift out and pull out. And there's one side. All right, so we're going to start by taking out three 10 millimeter bolts for the stock air box. All right, so next we want to take this hose clamp off of the stock air box. Until it's loose. And then we want to remove this from the air box lid just by slipping it off. And then the air box just lifts right out. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the blow-off valve hose and remove it on the driver's side. So you can actually just squeeze that with your hand. And then you just got to work this hose out. And it's on there extremely tight. <sighs> but it will come off with a little bit of force. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo this top one up here. Let me actually use a wrench on that because that's pretty pliers on that. Just move a little clamp off and then this should pop right off. Okay. And then the crankcase hose. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from the turbo first and then we'll, we'll worry about that one. So there is a little clamp down there, as you can see right here. We're going to remove that and then slide the intake hose off of the turbo. 
or attempt to. All right. Okay, now we need to take the crankcase hose off. The crankcase line was pretty much impossible to remove. I was pulling, I was twisting. Finally, I got a screwdriver up in there and kind of pried it, and you can see where I kind of marred up the, the surface there by scratching a little bit. It won't hurt it, but this line is a beast. So, use a screwdriver or whatever to get that out. Okay, on this side, pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna start here. Loosen that clamp up nice. And then we wanna remove the three 10 millimeter bolts that holds the air box in. This hose from the air box. And pull it right out. Okay, and this one has way less stuff to take off. Um, we'll go ahead and disconnect the blow off valve right here. You can just pinch and remove and then This should just twist right off. We're gonna come back to that hose. Hose be lying. Angle this up. It's coming. Okay. All right, so now we got to loosen and remove the uh, stock intake boxes. These are 10 millimeter and there should be one on each side, two on each side. All right, so the next step is to install these vibra mounts in the stock mounting locations. Uh, the hole that you're looking for is this one here. And this just drops right down in there. Go hand tight with it. And same thing on the other side. Holes right there. And you just want to go hand tight with it. Okay. The next step is to install these couplers, these two and a quarter couplers, to the turbo. Um, now you want to make sure that you get the, uh, the clamps to where they're facing up and make sure that the engine logo is facing straight up or your friends will make fun of you. So we just wanna slide that right on like so. All right, so one tip for this is go ahead and pre-tighten this a little bit so you don't have as much work to do when you get done in there. Okay, so we're just gonna slide this one right on. And again, make sure that you can access your screws to tighten the clamps because it's super important.
All right, so now we got the uh, clamps started with the screwdriver. Go ahead and pull an eight millimeter nut driver on it and just finish tightening it, tightening it on down. You make sure you got that on there pretty tight. And then come to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so now we're gonna take off this hose. Um, probably should have done it earlier, but you know, it doesn't matter really. We're gonna do it now. So just remove this clamp. All right, so I took this clamp off the stock hose and I'm gonna put it on here. Engine didn't send me any clamps for this, but I feel like it probably needs it. So I'll go ahead and throw that on there. So we're just gonna slide this. I'm just gonna slide this hose on here. And then just for extra All right, so now we're gonna take the 12 millimeter hose and hook it into the crankcase line. It's on there. It's on there. Okay, so we're gonna take the driver's side, which you'll know by the, the bungs on it, and we're gonna put, take the clamp, take the clamp and go ahead and put it on the silicon hose down here. Get it in place. And then this just kind of wiggles down in there. And you want to make sure that that's seated in there real good. So I don't know how to finagle all this. Oh, there it went. I feel like that's like, going to be the trickiest one. God, man, that's like, how does that, how, how can you get everything at once? You know what I mean? That's the trick. That's started. Don't sink it because you got to get that one in before you sink it. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, so this, this hose and this hose and then getting it in the bottom silicone all at once is quite an adventure. So have fun with that. But it did all eventually fit. Um, you just need to kind of work it. Make sure there's no like kinks in it. And then I'm gonna hook up the blow off valve again. Okay. And then we just wanna put the hose clamps back on. So, seat it down, and then we want to get down there to the clamp and tighten it, tighten it on up. I'm going to have to get my long extension for this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten this up now once everything's in position. Make sure everything's lined up. OK, 
Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we wanna go ahead and put the, the washer and the nut over here. And we'll go ahead and give this a crank. It's a 10 millimeter. Okay. And then we'll repeat the same verse on the other side. All right, so this is kind of the same, same deal. Just gotta kind of finagle it in. Moving the clamp into place now. So for some reason they included blue filters with this. Uh, I don't know why, I wish they would have done red. But I got these, I got these covers, these pre-filters to put on them, which will turn it black, make it look a little better. I've only got one in right now, but I'm expecting the other one in the mail. Uh, there's the part number. And so let's see what it, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. I think it'll look good though. It'll even work. So that's the finished product. I think that's going to look better than just having it blue. And then I only got one side right now, unfortunately, but. The other one's coming. Okay. Do a double quick double check of everything. I think everything's on there now. So just a couple of little notes here. Uh, when you're putting the strut tower bars back on, make sure you start with the holes closest to the firewall because the front hole is slotted to give yourself some play. And then the other thing is the lift gate. When you, when you hook the battery back up, you're going to have to manually close it because it will not 
uh, close under power. So just a couple of little things to keep in mind.